lips from deceitful speech. They must turn from evil and do good. They must seek peace and pursue it. Whoever would love life and see good days must keep their tongue from evil and their lips from deceitful speech. They must turn from evil and do good. They must seek peace and pursue it. Whoever would love life and see good days must keep their tongue from evil and their lips from deceitful speech. They must turn from evil and do good. They must seek peace and pursue it. Whoever would love life and see good days must keep their tongue from evil and their lips from deceitful speech. They must turn from evil and... In the morning when I wake And the sun is shining through Oh, you feel my... The story of Jesus walking on the water is a famous miracle in the Bible. After performing a miraculous feeding of 5,000 people with just five loaves of bread and two fish, Jesus instructed his disciples to get into a boat and go ahead of him to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. He then went up onto a mountain to pray alone. As the disciples were rowing across the sea, a strong wind began to blow and the waves grew higher. The boat was tossed about and the disciples became afraid. In the early morning hours, Jesus saw them struggling from the mountaintop and walked down to them, walking on the surface of the water. At first the disciples were terrified, thinking they were seeing a ghost. But Jesus reassured them, saying, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Peter, one of the disciples, then called out to Jesus, Lord, if it's you, tell me to come to you on the water. Jesus replied, Come. Peter stepped out of the boat and began to walk on the water towards Jesus. But then he noticed the strong wind and the waves and became frightened. He began to sink and cried out, Lord, save me! Jesus reached out and caught Peter, saying to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? Then Jesus and Peter climbed into the boat and the wind died down. The disciples were amazed and worshipped Jesus, saying, Truly you are the Son. If you are... If you are faithful in little things, you will be faithful in large ones. But if you are dishonest in little things, you won't be honest with greater responsibilities. If you are faithful in little things, you will be faithful in large ones. But if you are dishonest in little things, you won't be honest with greater responsibilities. If you what the Bible says about tattoos. The Bible emphasizes the principle of treating one's body as a temple of the Holy Spirit. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own, you were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. 1 Corinthians 6, 19, 20. Avoiding worldly conformity. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Romans 12. 2 encourages believers not to conform to the patterns of the world. Prioritizing inner character, the Bible emphasizes the importance of cultivating inner character rather than focusing on outward appearance. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. I love Father Abraham, have mercy on me. I saw you with Lazarus. Send him. The point of the finger in the water and touch my tongue. I'm an enemy from these flames. Son, you remember. In your life, you received your good things. And Lazarus 
was here, received his bad things. Now he is being comforted and you are in agony. Neither will they be persuaded the one rises from the dead. Now, please. Now. 